The grand jury has reached a decision in Ferguson. Several months ago, teenager Michael Brown, within minutes of robbing a convenience store, was shot and killed by police officer Darren Wilson after he attacked Officer Wilson and tried to take his weapon. The city of Ferguson has since waited to see if Officer Wilson would be indicted for killing his attacker. After months of sifting through the evidence, the announcement of the grand jury's decision came yesterday. St. Louis prosecuting attorney Robert McCulloch made the announcement. The grand jury considered whether Wilson was the initial aggressor in this case or whether he was or whether there was probable cause to believe that Darren Wilson was authorized as a law enforcement officer to use deadly force in this situation or if he acted in self-defense. As promised by me and Attorney General Holder, there was a full investigation and presentation of all evidence and appropriate instruction of law to the jury, to the grand jury. After their exhaustive review of the evidence, the grand jury deliberated over two days, making their final decision. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson and returned a no true bill on each of the five indictments. Reaction to the announcement was ugly, despite calls for peaceful protests by the family of Michael Brown and government officials. Rioters and looters took to the streets in cities all across the nation. As expected in Ferguson, buildings burned, businesses were destroyed, shots were fired at police, and squad cars were smashed. Police were taunted, but maintained their distance. On the plus side, there will be no charges filed against decorated officer Darren Wilson. Justice, indeed, was served. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch The Ray Winner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at TheRayWinnerShow.com.